right. What's up, everybody? It's been a while since, you know, I've sat down and talked about Blue Lock like this, and I'm sure some of you guys are actually really relieved to see, you know, uh, my old style of videos kind of coming back. But with the 235 spoilers dropping the other day and the Bastard Munich and Ubers match coming to a close very, very soon, I feel like we really need to talk about who's actually going to win this game and the repercussions that will come with that victory. Well, anyways, let's get right into it. You guys already know the drill. Grab some snacks, fill those cups, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so quick refresher for those of you who didn't see the 235 spoilers. As we saw in chapter 234 last week, Hiori did unlock Metavision, which heavily turned the tide in favor of Bastion Munich, at least so we thought. Following Kaiser and Isagi's little boyfriend tag team shot, which was blocked by my glorious King Baro Shoei, we pick up on chapter 235 where Ryu actually clears the ball. Rare Kunigami sighting, by the way. As we can see, it's a mad scramble for the ball at this point. Kaiser, Isagi, Aiku, Baro, every single player on the field basically can be seen fighting for the ball. Eventually, it does end up in the possession of Bastion Munich, specifically with Isagi and Hiori. They're just about to launch the counterattack, and just as Hiori is ready to pass the ball, he is haunted by memories of his shitty parents. All of his bad memories about uh, the bad reasons of why he played soccer are starting to come to the surface, basically making him second guess the reason that he's playing right now. Then, in one of the coolest panels I think we've seen, probably in this entire game so far, we see Ego looming over the field, basically egging Hiori on to shoot the ball and, you know, take control of his own ego. I mean, that's the whole point of Blue Lock, and right now he's basically just playing so he saw he can score. Like, Come on. It's at this point where fed up with every single bit of bullshit that he's ever had to deal with in his life, Hiyori makes a decision for himself. Deciding to actually shoot the ball rather than passing it to Isagi, catching every single player on the field by surprise besides the most clutch and underrated player in the history of Blue Lock, the Uber center forward Sendout, making yet another game-saving stop. Okay, say what you want about Sendout, you could say he sucks or whatever, but dude, he is the most clutch dude in the entirety of the manga I, I i swear to you look at everyone else and all the clutch moments that they've had no one no one matches up to send now at least from the appearances that we've seen to the amount of clutch moments he's actually had after it's blocked we do see isagi enter some sort of flow metavision I don't even know, Super Saiyan State, I, I, it, it's kind of crazy. He has flow eyes, his aura is flaring up, and the puzzle pieces are kind of going crazy, as you can see in the panel right here. And that is where the chapter comes to a close, leaving us with a lot of speculating to do as far as not only what the next chapter is going to be, but how the game is going to end, considering chapter 236 is confirmed to be titled Goodbye. So, what does the current state of the manga mean for the ending of the Bastion Munich and Ubers match, and what do I think will happen that is going to lead to the end of the game? Well, as much as I have been living, breathing, and willing to die on my sword that the Ubers are going to win this match, I'm the most skeptical I've ever been on that opinion. Like, I don't think I'm making it up when I say that Isagi's had a lot of ass pulls, uh, especially in the NEL, but if he ends the game right here, which it really looks like is going to happen, I, I don't even know. And, and you guys wonder why I haven't been making videos on this fucking series, because shit like this... I mean, realistically, uh, if Isagi ends the game right here, he would, what, beat Kaiser? He's not better than Kaiser, but saying that he beat him already when the NELs aren't even over, his valuation isn't going to be higher. Uh, I don't see Noah, like, holding that up. I mean, uh, fuck, you never know. Noah's kind of a weird dude. I, I really don't know what to think. Like I said in my prediction video way back when, if I could choose how this match is going to end and how it should end, this is going to be how it should end, people. Isagi would use this final piece that he has, which I believe that it's going to be some sort of a poaching skill. I'll actually make a separate video on that in case you guys want to see or hear more about it. He is going to activate or use that final piece to try and take the shot early on in this last chapter just for it to fall short and not be enough for him to get the victory. This is not only going to prolong his rivalry with Kaiser, which could extend not only to the NEL, but even into the U20 World Cup, as he could always take over the spot of the new gen World 11 striker. Not to mention, they're 2-0. If Bastion Munich goes 3-0, there's nothing that should make us think that PXG is going to win. That way, it takes Isagi off this high horse that he's kind of been on throughout not only this match, but especially following the Manchon City game. He hasn't gone through any struggle recently, and especially since he's about to go up against Reen, an evolved Reen at that. Unless they plan on having him lose, which I don't think he should. He's never in his head at least beaten Reen, so, you know, I feel like this should be his actually first time technically beating him. I know in the second selection, Reen admitted defeat, and I know Reen sees the U20 match as Isagi's victory since he came out as the star, even though Reen was clearly the man of the match. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. 
basically the uber's winning is just the most narratively sound way for the story to go at least in my opinion and i read the shit out of this manga so i feel like i have kind of a good knowledge of how it should go but uh unfortunately the way i feel like the manga is going to lean towards is with bastard munich's victory coming at the end of an isagi yoichi goal probably a direct shot following this new technique that he's come up with from watching hyori chew I, I don't i really don't know what this technique's going to be because we always get random speculation with isagi where he's like oh my god i found it i'm pretty sure we've had like seven panels of that in the last what 10 chapters you know uh just same old same old but if bastard munich ends up winning this match that means that it is going to be a high stakes winner take all almost match between isagi yoichi and itoshi rin basically japan's dueling aces fighting over the number one spot in the neo egoist league which honestly would be very high stakes and does make sense for the narrative I, I am kind of being a little harsh on it and i did want to see the ubers win this match but i feel like there's just a little more story coming with isagi having to bounce back from taking a loss because he hasn't lost in so long and a lot of it's been carried by kaiser by kunigami by every Everyone else on his team i know manchon city was heavily due to isagi but technically i mean he didn't score he hasn't taken an l in a really long time and he's kind of on this metaphorical high horse to where you can't really knock him down or he's on top of the world this is the most informed isagi that we've seen and he's firing on all cylinders so i kind of get if the author wants to push for this new evolved isagi to showcase his evolution against reen the guy who he sees as the better version of himself just to see where his evolution is kind of taking him from the start of the nel to the end of the nel you know what i'm saying but yeah with that said i think i yapped enough about this topic i'm not gonna lie to you guys this match has uh it's really been dragging like like I, I've, i'm i'm kind of done with this match i really want it to be over so i really don't care who wins at this point i know i'm still really really high on my ubers are gonna win and i really want to be able to tell every single one of you guys i told you so but i i don't care at this point i just want to see the next match you know <laughs> i'm exhausted bro please just end it but uh yeah that's actually gonna do it for today's video if you enjoyed please make sure to leave a like and consider subbing up to the channel with noties turned on so you never miss another banger from myself i am going to be uploading a lot more manga and blue lock content than i have been recently i promise i'll keep the content coming for you guys because i do have a lot that i want to talk about not only blue lock but other manga that are kind of taking over right now as well as anime because i feel like i haven't touched on anime in a while but um yeah that's all i got for you today <laughs> love you guys take it easy okay post-production clamp here so, I didn't know that those cheeky little devils at YouTube uh, decided to change the way that ads and revenue works on these videos. So, I actually have to make videos that are over 8 minutes. I finished the recording for this video without knowing that. So, um, <laughs> I'm a little ticked off. So, seeing as how YouTube has thoroughly screwed me over in this scenario, for the next 30 seconds or so, please enjoy this video I found online of a dog skateboarding.